last time in last lecture last not last but one lecture uh, in last lecture we discussed about uh, this the um, act 2 and uh, scene 2 of the pied piper of hamelin which i told you that i had clear uh, we have discussed uh, we discussed that uh, act in nutshell but uh, some of the students uh, have not understood that in nutshell so i gave a and it uh, so i gave a detailed explanation of that uh, act 2 scene 2 uh that was last lecture in last uh, in last not but uh, last but one lecture we discussed about what helping verbs and main verbs so go through the notes and see what is the main verb and where is the main verb and where is the helping verb of this exercise now read these sentences i could run past when i was one it shows ability in the past when he was one year old Aditya can play the guitar it also shows ability to play guitar I should help my mother shows an obligation to do something obligation means that you are obliged you are, it's necessary to do this I will play cricket shows intention in the future okay it shows your intention in the future your uh goal in the future okay it might rain today it shows possibility either it may rain or it may not rain you must wear a helmet while riding a bike it shows strong obligation okay you must wear must is must comes there when there is strong obligation okay in the sentences above the highlighted words express possibility obligation permission ability necessity and intention these are called modal verbs so these are called modal verbs what can could should will would may might okay in the sentences above the highlighted words express possibility obligation permission ability necessity and intention these are called modal verbs okay they are helping verbs which do not change their form and do not end with an s even in third person singular case so these verbs modal verbs are called helping verbs and they don't change their form and they don't change end with s for example could it doesn't change with s it doesn't end with s couldst no that's not any word must must is that's not any word so, so helping verbs these modal verbs these helping verbs don't do not end with s and they do not change their form even in the third person third person is they okay in singular case they do not in, in singular case in singular case they do not change their form as they are helping verbs the main verbs used with them are in root form so as they are helping verbs the main verbs that are used with them are in root form so with the help of example you will come to know what are modal verbs so examples will make you very clear possibility can could and may first of all we will do this possibility portion can could may might example you can do this if you try okay could we could win the match it may rain tomorrow might i might not come to school for two days next week means this is possibility either he will come to school or he will not come to school permission may i come in okay so if here we will change this i into third person or second person may she come in okay here can example mom can i go out and play mom can she go out and play we have changed here subject isn't it third person we have changed here third person example could i help you could she help you or could he help you example shall i go shall she go okay like this obligation one should plant trees we should plant trees see we, i changed it this okay i i should plant trees they should plant trees so should remain same though we change the subject singular uh, this we changed the this person third person uh, 
we changed uh, this to third person or this one can be changed into they he she okay i must finish the homework now she must finish the homework now he must finish the homework now they must finish the homework now okay you can uh, you can also this in place of i you can uh, you can replace i with any other name okay ought to you ought to wear a helmet while riding a bike means ought to is also used in place of must okay you must wear a helmet while riding a bike need to i need to go and meet ammu okay she needs to go and meet ammu <coughs> she need to go not needs she need to go and meet ammu okay so here is a, an exercise my mother is a great cook she can sing well too so here can okay if i tried i i i could draw better diagrams than sam if i tried i could draw better di uh, diagrams than sam so we have another we should never be impolite okay should may i use your compass please so here may permission okay so so we i told you <coughs> the exercise is given on the notes go through the notes and see those those notes consult those notes and see where which model comes where okay <clears throat> so this is grammar game leave this this is listen to the commentary on how the pied paper is chasing the rats away and fill in the blanks this is cd work still if you want to do this exercise it's given on the notes but this is a cd work you have to first listen to the cd and then you have to fill in the blanks but still if you are very curious to, uh, about doing these fill in the blanks consult and go through the notes and see there okay We have already had many group discussions on several occasions. A group discussion is an exchange of information, ideas, views, and opinions regarding a topic or a situation among the members of a group. So, discussing means what? Sharing one's ideas. For example, we we form a group together, and <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So a group discussion is an exchange of information you exchange information you exchange ideas you exchange views and you exchange your opinions regarding a topic or a situation among the members of a group for example there are 4 uh, 6 7 members in a room and you discuss some topic kisi ne koi baat chedi and now people uh, share their views apna nazariya uske उस टॉपिक के मुतालिक शेयर करते हैं अपने आइडियाज अपने वेव्स अपने ख्याल ठीक है दैट्स कॉल्ड ग्रुप डिस्कशन मैंने डिस्कस समथिंग ओके वट हैपन्स इन अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन इन अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन रिमेंबर टू लिसन वेल एंड गिव एवरी वन एन इक्वल चांस टू स्पीक सो वेन एवर वी हैव अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन वट वी शुड डू वी शुड लिसन वेरी केयरफुली वट अदर्स से एंड वी शुड गिव एवरी वन एन इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक अप ओके maintain eye contact while talking while you talk while you discuss while you share your views and uh, opinions make sure with whom you are discussing these things make an eye contact with those persons okay with those people refrain from raising your voice and maintain positive language body language you have to refrain from using raising your voice your voice should not be louder but it should be what sober soft okay and maintain positive body language and your body language should be positive it should not be like go like you are fighting okay it should not the group discussion should be not like that like as if you are fighting it should be like your body language should be very positive okay discuss soberly listen carefully and have an eye contact okay now get into two groups and conduct a group discussion on the idea that promises must be kept at any cost so go you can discuss these things with the parents you can discuss these things with the siblings that promises must be kept at any cost okay read these words aloud note the difference in the sound of s in each word so you have to read cups boys speaks reads so cups s sound speaks s sound boys z sound z sound and reads Z sound okay. Now read these words aloud. Write them in the correct columns based on the sound of the letter S. Gets so it comes in S sound okay. It has an S sound. Puts S sound. Goes Z Z sound. Lives Z sound. Looks S sound. Learns 
Z sound, Z sound. Rice, S sound. Rise, Z sound. Plays, Z sound. Place, S sound. Stops, S sound. And sees, Z sound. Okay, Z. Now it's extend. A story is much more descriptive than a play. While rewriting a play as a story, certain dialogues from the play may be included in the story. So, a story is much descriptive, more descriptive than a play. Descriptive means where you have to write more words. Okay, play. What happens in a play? The play is limited to dialogues, and the story is. Very much descriptive means there in story there are more words than di uh, this play. Okay, play is a drama. Okay, there are uh, play, cat, drama. These are three words. Okay, play also means uh, drama. Drama also means play. Cat means both play and drama. Okay, a story is much more means there are more words in a story than a play. While rewriting a play as a story, certain dialogues from the play may be included in the story. So, what happens in the story? In story, when you write a story, when you, for example, there is a play, and you transform that play into a story, what 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 would you do? Plus, first of all, you will uh, write a story, and then uh, the drama from which you have adapted uh, this the story. For example, uh, let me tell in uh, this Urdu, okay? Uh, for example, आपने कोई story लिखी, ठीक है? So आपने वो story किसी drama से ली है? So आप क्या करोगे? आप इस story में एक, एक तो अपने कुछ words add करोगे. You will add some more words of your, uh, but that should be related with the drama. तो ऐसी story आपको बनानी है ताकि वो drama के साथ बिल्कुल ये हो जाए, ये उसका जो plot है वो बराबर किस कैस किसके जैसा हो, drama के जैसे plot हो. So, आप क्या करोगे आप उस डायलॉग्स उस ड्रामा में से लोगे और उस स्टोरी में डालोगे एक तो आप, आपके अपने वर्ड्स हैं स्टोरी में प्लस आ, वो डायलॉग से जिस जिससे आपने वो स्टोरी क्रिएट की है आ रही है मेरी बात समझ में मींस मोर डिस्क्रिप्टिव मींस मोर वर्ड्स ओके देयर आर मोर वर्ड्स प्लस देयर आर डायलॉग्स ओके so certain dialogues from the play may be included in the story what when re rewriting a play as a story remember when you re rewrite a play rewrite means to write again when you rewrite a play that has been already written and you write that again okay so when you rewrite a play any drama or any play as a story you that has been written as a play and now you rewrite that drama as a story you create a story out of that drama so what you have to write the outline of the pl plot of the play outline means some important points out of that play this will be the outline of the story so outline what happens what uh, what will happen but the important important points you have to discuss there so that it covers the whole story use direct speech while quoting the dialogues and whenever you have to quote the dialogues you have to use direct speech and uh, direct speech means the exact words of the speaker and indirect speech means when there when we make changes in the exact words of the speaker for example mujhe kisi ne kuch bola ab mujhe wo jo mujhe us insaan ne bola mujhe wo dusre insaan ko bolna hai so jab main bolungi wo mere exact words nahi hai wo us insaan ki jisne mujhse pehle bola ab ab main teesre insaan se bolungi mujhe indirect speech istemal karni hai wahan par na ki direct speech kyunki main direct speech use nahi kar sakti kyunki wo mere exact words nahi hai and when you quote what you have to use when you quote the dialogues you have to make use of direct speech describe the characters and the setting you have to describe the characters and you have to describe the setting write the story in the past tense as in a story one narrates events that have already taken place so you have to write story in the past tense because the story one narrates the events one narrates have already taken place in a story one narrates events that already have taken place स्टोरी so में हम नरेट करते हैं सो so, वो चीजें ऑलरेडी हो चुकी होती है किसमें ड्रामा में यूज फॉर्मल लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू यूज फॉर्मल लैंग्वेज ना कि इनफॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल मीन जो कि हम रोजमर्रा स्पोकन इंग्लिश करते हैं एक दूसरे के साथ दैट्स कॉल्ड इनफॉर्मल लैंग्वेज एंड फॉर्मल लैंग्वेज मीन्स विद प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर विद प्रॉपर आइडियाज एंड विद प्रॉपर सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस 
everything should be clear okay now to write the play the pirate by opera of hamlin as a story you must begin like this okay so now you have to write this pirate by opera of hamlin as a story you may begin like this okay 500 years ago the town of hamlin was plagued with rats so you may begin with these words and then after that you can add your own the way you have understood this drama the pirate by opera of hamlin and then there is relate okay get into groups and enact the play the pirate piper of hamlin in class so this is uh, this is next to impossible today nowadays because uh, right now because right now we are uh, we are all at home you may uh, enact this drama at home collect uh, this uh, collect some your sibling, collect your siblings and all or your friends and you can enact this drama at home make characters rats and all towns folk eh? julius uh, caesar rat lame child assign different roles from the play to each other such as the pied piper the narrator the mayor of hamlin the rats of hamlin julius is a rat the lame child and council and towns folk of hamlin so you can enact this drama at home at in the class it's next to impossible today but you can enact this drama at home okay ask everyone to learn the dialogues uh, of their characters from the chapter so you can ask everyone you can give a copy to every character and uh, the role that you have assigned to that person you have to tell him that learn that uh, uh, learn the dialogues of that character which he has been assigned you can also paint a nice backdrop in art class uh, so you can backdrop means background okay so settings and all if you are interested in performing this drama you can perform this drama at home with the siblings with the friends okay with the cousins as well okay so with this we have finished our syllabus we are done with our syllabus and uh, yes if there is any problem regarding any lesson you can uh, t2 regarding the lessons of t2 uh, this you can tell me you can inbox me and tell ma'am we have a problem here or you have not taught us this i i'll, I'll go through that again and yes and if uh, uh if uh, this at any uh, this i i got uh, this uh, uh, i behaved rudely with you people or uh, so i'm sorry for that if i behaved rudely any time or Uh, and yes uh, all the best for your t2 examinations we have finished our syllabus stay home stay safe take care of yourself and yes just wait for the date sheet allah hafiz okay